I'm going to be insulating, uh, starting with this headliner and getting under there and insulating that. My idea is this that I take this little dude, like it just kind of pops off the little buttons. Come on. This might be a little harder than I thought. Okay, we don't want to break anything or cut my hands off. Uh, let's let's do some googling. Ah, dang. There we go. Now we got the thing under the thing. And then I should be able to just. I might have broke something. This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I think they just punch out like a bat out of hell. Yeah, basically all I'm gonna do is just... I keep hitting my own fingers. You're now up in this cabinet compartment. So I think what I have to do is just pull these out. There we go, there's one. This is not an easy process. There we go. Headliner out. Okay. Well, it'll just lay on top. So I just tie this like knot in the string and this is just gonna keep gravity from moving this around and having it fall down and all that. Uh, that's good. Okay, let's try to get this into position. Try to get like the two corner clips popped in there. There we go. Okay, maybe these aren't the worst clips ever. They're super easy to get back in. Super easy to get back in. Impossible to take out. So. Got this really long it's like one by one and a half so we cut a two by four like a 16 foot two by four down to about 12 feet the goal is to put this up to the roof and have this be my framing for the ceiling so i'm going to start on these rivets 140 inches for this beam across so i'm doing the framing the long way which makes more sense for me because i'm just putting up plywood sheets across and that's my whole ceiling idea that thing so now a really pro tip uh play-doh will be used a few moments later kind of tearing this claymation video a new one right now oh my god that's the whole thing that's three weeks of work so you take your play-doh of choice I chose green. I've also got a couple more just in case it wasn't enough. I haven't played with Play-Doh in forever. You know stuff is 50 cents for these little cups? I might as well buy a bunch of these. Just have to line this up with where I want it. So then I'm going to press up and that's going to give me where my rivet hole is going to be. And uh, it's, it's showing me pretty well where the rivet, it, rivet is on this board. So I'm going to put one in and then I can screw that one into the roof, put Play-Doh where the others are going to be in conjunction. And then that'll just make it easier on me and I won't have to hold anything up. I drill the hole in there and now I've got this thing called the spade bit, which is going to give me a nice countersink in and it's going to allow me to get a socket cap around the end of this bolt here and then that'll allow me to drill these right in i forgot to put a washer under this and you're going to want a washer because then it'll keep spinning but it won't dig into the wood counter so so that the bolt can sit in and be nice and flush i 
Boom. Oh yeah. Kinda seems like it's in. Cool. That really went really, really, really well. I'm surprised. That uh, has some holding power to it and that's not going anywhere. All right, I'm gonna put some more Play-Doh on some boards and then I'm gonna knock all these out real quick and then we should have the ceiling framed. Oh, look at that. Three. That's gonna work so well. Let's go! Five frame boards. <laughs> Dude, it is zonked. Okay. So I've got a big old box of insulation. I've got two more of these, but we're gonna do the ceiling. And I think I've rigged this up so that I can just stuff the insulation across my beams. And like, that makes so much sense to me. I have about an inch clearance above every beam though, so like I can get over every beam, which is quite nice. Well, we'll see. I'm just gonna leave it like this. Cloudy, right? I like it. Good vibes. Got it in my mouth again. This is the ceiling or going to be the ceiling. And I'm really excited because not only does it mean I get to mount some lights to the ceiling, get some light in the van, but also it's gonna look fun. I'm gonna upholster this with some fun looking green and white fabric. Uh, and that's gonna be the whole plan. It's gonna be thin sheet of plywood, very lightweight, flimsy plywood up to the roof. And uh, then hopefully it'll look cool, lights will be up and I will have a ceiling in my van, which I'm stoked on, because it's like ceiling walls, and then it's like, oh, I could be finished, you know? So 57 and 3 eighths, I'm gonna mark it over here, and mark it over there, draw with a straight edge across, and then I'm gonna circular saw it. I'm a little nervous, because I've never used a circular saw un, uh, unsupervised. So in theory, this should be like perfect for me to... No! My clamp is in the way! Does that mean I just gotta go from the other side? No, cause then I'm not gonna be... I did all that work for nothing. What is that? I don't know how to line these up. Is it the... Whoa! Oh yeah, it's... I uh, thought, uh, okay, put it back. This cut this, right that's here... That's the cut line. This is, yeah, that's basically where it's gonna cut. So you're just slightly this side of your line. You know what I could have done? I could have just cut two pieces at the same time. Do we go take a peek at what's in here? Is it in here? Oh! <laughs> Jesus! There was uh, two big wolf spiders in there. <gasps> oh, they're so big. Oh my God. You know how accurate I have to be with this thing to get it in the first place? This is like my worst fear right here. Dang it. Ah! I can hear it! I can hear it! I mean, a cardboard template for the fan. So I've got my light here, and I've got to cut a hole for the bottom 
part, so I went out and bought this three and a half inch hole saw because it's got to be like right on those springs. So it just tears through nice and easy. Like, and then they just fit in there like that. Uh, not exactly sure how the heck you would get them out of there, like, like this type of thing under. I just mouse trapped myself. Ow. Ah. <laughs> okay. Wish me luck. <laughs> that one was kind of cool. I'm like standing here, like this, holding the board, trying to get a drill, trying to get a screw on the drill, trying to hold it up like this, then I go over and I freaking screw it in, but then I've only got one in, so all this is dangling, and then I've gotta go get another screw out of my pocket, get the drill, get the screw on the drill, rotate, but I'm, at the same time, I'm trying to get this corner flush, <laughs> and this corner, and get it side to side, Breaking a storm. Almost. Almost. Well, here. Oh, look at me. Problem solver McGee, boys. Let's go. Yeah, no, let's go. That's perfect. Take that gravity. Who invented gravity? Who was the guy? Discovered, my bad. Who's the guy who discovered gravity? Isaac Newton. Take that, Isaac Newton. Take your gravity back home where you came from. That's so exciting. I mean, look at that thing. Like, it almost looks like we're getting somewhere. It should be my middle point, like, right? Oh, what the heck is up, buddy? Noodles came to play. You're blocking the camera angle, dude. Hi. Hi. I gotta cut a big hole, Noodle. I gotta cut a big hole, okay? Can you let me do that? Noodle, this is not for kitties. Why don't you understand what not for kitties means? You're always holding the drill, but you're never holding me. Noodle, no, 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 no. How can I do this if a noodle is in the way? Hey, hey, noodle. Noodle, noodle. It's just for a little bit till we get things sorted out. You guys hear that? I just closed up my van like two seconds ago. No, no inclination that it was gonna rain like this heavy. Let me show you guys this. Like, it's uh, it's like pouring rain now. It's a full street. It's 53 inches long. And my wood is 48. Wow, it sounds like we're in a hurricane. Holy cow. This is gonna be my favorite part. Upholstering the wood. I'm like actually super stoked for this. Would you look at that? Maybe I should be upholstering furniture for a living. A little X, basically our plus sign. And how you're feeling that day. Press it in. Holy. Yeah, that'll look cool. Just slide down.
ready. The moment of truth. Will they turn on? <gasps> oh my god, they did. Ah, we have lights. And I did it correctly. And all... Yep, all of them are on. Let's go! They dim? Oh, they dim. Ooh. Let's go! I'm gonna put these lights into the holes. So I'm gonna figure out how to stuff this wire back up. Let's go!